Ain't no elevator to the top. You got to take the stairs. The elevator don't go to the top, man. Not in the world of success. You have control of this. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. Get off of Instagram and Snap. And get off all these blogs and get into something that can really, really move your life forward. Listen, getting successful, it's not a magic trick. You can decide to be rich. It's highly doable. But you first have to think it. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is here. I'm no better than none of y'all. If you want to be successful, you have to change this. This has to change. Listen to me. It's not what makes it hard is your lack of belief that it can happen for you. The fact of it is, though, it's very doable. See, if what you got to change, though, if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. So if you're at a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change some things. But you have to make a conscientious decision that you're going to change. And it's not dependent on anybody else. It don't matter what your mama think. It don't matter what your coworkers think. It don't matter what your siblings think. It don't matter what your children think. It don't matter. They have nothing to do with it. This decision is yours and yours alone. Let me tell you something. You get to decide if I'm gonna be rich, poor, mediocre, plentiful, happy, sad, you, you have a decision to make. It's really not important what the majority of people that are blogging are saying. As a matter of fact, bloggers are not relevant people, they're not shakers and movers, and they're not decision makers, and they're not power brokers. So when you spend so much time in the blog world, the Instagram world, the chat world, all of this, you're wasting valuable time. If I was young and I had what you have and you're the brightest group of young people that have come along in a long time, man. Millennials are absolutely brilliant because you all have technology. I had no technology growing up, nothing. You, you couldn't download a book. You had to go to the library, go to the card catalog, pull it open, find the book, find the number, go get on the elevator, go to the row, find the number book, get the book, and hope somebody ain't told a page out that you want to read. That's what it used to be. When my mom and them finally got the money together to help us educate ourselves, they bought an encyclopedia set, Britannica, Funk and Wagner, and everything you wanted to know was in that encyclopedia, and that's all you could know. If you want to look up something about elephant and they had two pages on elephants, that was what your knew about an elephant. Y'all got Google. You can Google anything. You all have stuff at your fingertips that can make you great. But if you can combine your technology with your parents and your grandparents' work ethic, your could be rich. You could be rich, man. But you cannot erase the work ethic part. There is no getting around. Ain't no elevator to the top. You've got to take the stands. The elevator don't go to the top, man. Not in the world of success. You got to take the stand. Y'all got to start getting gritty, man. I hate it when I see young people wasting their time, wasting all this technology got. Just bull Just sitting around in this world that's been created for you, that everything is instant. I was arguing with my son the other day. We're having a debate. I thought, man, I'm finally sitting with one of my sons having a healthy debate. I told him 
that from Cleveland to Nashville was about 540 miles, something like that. He Googles it while we're talking. He said, no, Dad, you're wrong. It's 526 miles. I said 540. It's amazing, man, how you rely on technology, and it's a help to you. But young people, you got to get gritty, man. You got to develop some dog in you. You got to understand that success, you can't Google success. Go Google it. You can't Google it, man. I got something else for you. Because I've lived so long, and I've been exposed to so many things. I've seen stuff hopefully you'll never see, and I've seen some things I hope one day you do see. But go Google exposure. It ain't gonna take you nowhere. I've been around the world, man, because I've traveled. But I traveled it because I've, I've made myself uncomfortable. I have a life of convenience now. But in order to get the life of convenience, you gotta have a very uncomfortable life. You got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Stop trying to do everything the short way. Stop trying to figure out the easy way because the ain't going to happen. I got news for you, man. It's not happening, young people. You got to get, you got to get messed up sometime. You got to get dirty. You got to get your feelings hurt. You got to get disappointed. You got to get told no. You going to ask somebody for some money. He going to tell you no. But at least then, when I see somebody trying, and I tell them no, I try to at least give them something else. See, I'm not gonna hand you a fish sandwich. I'll teach you how to fish. But I'm not giving your a fish sandwich. You can forget that. Once you get this, y'all, you can change everything. Do you understand? Negativity, you can protect yourself from negativity. And that's what stops most people, negative thoughts. You can coat your mind from negativity. It's a real simple exercise to do. I do it every morning before I walk out the door. So I walk out as a positive person. You know, I get tired sometimes. That's different from being negative because I get mentally drained from my job at times. But to coat your mind from negativity, the way you can put a coating around your mind is with one simple thing, gratitude. Gratitude erases negativity. I'm gonna show you how this works. If you wake up in the morning and you start having negative thoughts, man, this ain't my day. I woke up on the wrong side of bed. I'm tripping, I just don't feel myself. Every time you feel, in the middle of the day, if you feel yourself doing that, stop, just stop for a second. And start going over in your mind everything you have to be grateful for. Not everything you want, everything you already have. Because what you have is substantial. You just haven't gone over the list and taken inventory in a long time. But the fact that you can walk, that's a blessing. The fact that you woke up, that's another blessing. The fact that you can see, think, reason, that's another blessing. The fact that you can go somewhere and get yourself something to eat, that's another blessing. The fact that you can go and turn the key and call someplace home,